I'm going to show you how to get started with Apollo X so you can trade crypto futures in Canada without needing to verify your identity and without any geo restrictions. Before I show you though, if you're interested in saving 20% on your trade fees, I'll leave a link in the video description. Now, in order to use Apollo X, you'll first need a few things. The first thing that you'll need is a wallet that supports smart contracts on Binance Smart Chain. This would be a wallet like MetaMask or SafePal. You need a wallet first in order to connect to Apollo X. For myself, I'll be using a SafePal wallet on my phone for this tutorial. You can download their wallet for your phone or desktop at safepal.com. The second thing that you'll need is some BNB to pay for gas fees. Essentially, this is needed so you can transfer your coins in and out of Apollo X. To obtain BNB in Canada, the only place where I know where you can get it from is crypto.com app, not the exchange. You could also use a swap service like Change Now. You would send some coins there and then swap it for BNB. I've actually made a video on this. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. The last thing that you'll need is a stable coin like USDT or USDC. At the moment, no Canadian crypto platform has USDT, so you're best to just get USDC. For that, check out either Patri or Endax as they both have USDC on Binance Smart Chain. I've actually made a video about where the cheapest place to buy USDC in Canada is. If you're interested in that, I'll also leave a link to that video. So pretty much after you've got your wallet set up, you'll then want to send your BNB and stable coins to that wallet after you're all set. So right now I'm on the tree dashboard for Apollo X. The first thing that I'm going to do is connect my wallet to them. Now to do so, I'm going to go over here and click on connect wallet. When I do, it'll ask me which option I'd like to go with. Now for myself, I'm going to click on safe pal. And when I do, it'll present this QR code over here. And so on my phone, I'm going to open up the SafePal app and then I'm going to click on this button over here and it'll open up my camera app, then scan the QR code that is presented. Once I've scanned the code, you can see that it's asking me to agree to this. So I am okay with that and I'm going to click on agree. And after it's going to again ask me to confirm a request from Apollo X, I like what I see. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to click on confirm. All right. So I've now just connected my wallet to Apollo X and as you can see it's asking me to deposit some funds because I don't have anything in there right now so what I'm going to do is select this drop down menu and then I'm going to select USDT and then I'm going to select max and then after I'm going to click on deposit so on my phone right now it's asking me to confirm this request I like what I see so I'm then going to click on confirm so I've just sent some USDT over and as you can see, my available balance is now zero and I'm going to close this over here. And basically if I give this a few moments, it'll then recognize that I have some assets in here. All right, so as you can see, I now have my USDT in my Apollo X account. And once you've sent your USDT over into your Apollo X account, you can trade crypto futures just as you would normally would on a centralized exchange. As you saw from the video, there was no KYC needed. All I needed was a wallet to connect to Apollo X. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.